Clash Royale in 2016 versus now. Remember when golems used to look like this? Or when towers used to look like wizards with books? Probably not. So, here are 37 Clash Royale things that have changed since 2016. Number 1. When Night Witch was first released, it spawned 2 bats every 5 seconds, and upon death, spawned 4 new bats making it the most powerful card in the game up to date. Supercell quickly took note of this and nerfed it into oblivion. While Night Witch used to be able to kill a tower by itself, it's now kinda bad. Number 2. Freeze used to look like a clone spell, and was much more powerful. And by more powerful, I mean it used to freeze troops for a total of 5 seconds, which would give a max balloon enough time to completely kill the tower. Number 3. Fire spirits used to spawn in a trio of 3, and cost exactly 2 elixir. <laughs> Isn't that cute? These fire spirits used to be very unpopular, but they still had a bunch of possible tricks, like completely countering a goblin barrel, or completely killing a minion horde, or combining in weird pushes. Number 4. Golem used to have a chain around its neck, and no crystals, compared to the version we have now. It also had a custom explosion effect, which dealt damage when splitting into two. Number 5. You see this heal spirit? <laughs> Forget it. Late in 2016, this was the heal spell. The heal spell was much better at healing things, had better range, but it did cost one more elixir. Fast forward to 2022, and now the only healing card we have is the heal spirit, which is still considered worse than the heal spell. Number 6. Free wooden chests used to be in the game. If you look at the top of this image, wooden chests used to be given out every few hours. Same with crown chests, which you could unlock upon destroying 10 crowns. Number 7. In 2015, Clash Royale was actually named Scroll. Scroll was the earliest version of Clash Royale, with two wizards for king towers, crystal buildings as towers, and a grassy river as the arena. There was also an elixir bar, storing up to 100 elixir, compared to the 6, 4, and 3 elixir costs these same troops have today. Number 8. Clan wars used to look like this. Rewards were earned through the clan chest, which had 10 tiers, every tier making the chest slightly better until you had a really, really good chest. This chest, however, was still not guaranteed a legendary card. Fast forward to now. Clan wars look like this, and the clan chests look like this. Number 9. Mortar used to cost 6 elixir, and musketeer used to cost 5. Mortar was changed to 4 elixir because it made games way too slow, while musketeer was changed to 4 elixir because it was worse value than the wizard. Number 10. Skeletons used to have four skeletons spawn in a squarish form. Supercell eventually got rid of one of them and added them to the skeleton army. Even after this nerf, skeletons are still one of the most used cards, even today. Number 11. You see this deck? <laughs> yeah. This deck was the most popular deck in 2016, and had the highest win rate at 64.6%. The most popular deck now is Hog Rider 2.6, consisting mainly of Cannon, Musketeer, Hog Rider, and Fireball, which is somewhat similar to the 2016 version of this deck. Number 12. Legendary cards used to be maxed at level 5, with Epics maxed out at level 8, Rares at level 11, and Commons at level 13. Supercell changed all card levels to max out at 14 due to frustration from new incoming players. Number 13. Ebarb's play Players used to have dads before they all left shortly after. Speaking of which, Ebarbs used to be a lot more powerful, hitting every 1.5 seconds opposed to the now every 1.7 seconds, which doesn't seem like a huge change, but if you look at this video, <laughs> it really was. Number 14. King Towers used to be maxed at level 12 until Supercell quickly added level 13 and in 2021 decided to add level 14. Number 15. Miner used to actually deal damage before the continuous nerfs Supercell eventually decided to deploy, for no reason. There's a joke now that Miner can heal towers, but it seems like every day we're getting a little bit closer to that becoming a reality. Number 16. Many card designs used to look a lot different, many of which had an old school look to them. Clash Royale took all of these old designs and replaced them with new, brighter, and clearer designs. Weirdly, now Clash is starting to replace those with ultra new designs. I don't really know what to think about that. Number 17. Ice Spirit used to freeze troops for 1.5 seconds, compared to the 0.5 seconds it freezes them now. Again, though this may seem like a minimal change, it actually made the Ice Spirit much worse. Number 18. You see this? Yeah. This was Legendary Arena, but it was at 3,800 trophies compared to the 5,000 it's at now. While it used to be many trophies lower, it was still much harder to reach, as players were a lot more competitive back then. Number 19. Emotes used to be limited to the selection of these. Now, six years later, there's over 200 emotes to choose from in a battle. Number 20. Expo used to hit its own tower, and nobody knows why, but on April Fools, Supercell added this. Number 21. If you and your opponent hadn't taken a tower, the game would end in a draw. 
Overtime was not a thing back then, and the game didn't count down who had more health points. Number 22. Battles used to cost gold, but this was later changed when Supercell received numerous complaints from players labeling it pay to win. Literally. Number 23. Royal Giant used to shoot nearly as far as a princess, bypassing any kind of defensive unit. This is now fixed, as Inferno Tower and Tesla can fully counter it. Uh, well, uh, kinda. Number 24. Clash Royale's logo used to look like this, and now it looks like this. While the old one is nostalgic, the new one does look a lot better. Number 25. Valkyrie Prince was one of the most popular combos, but Valkyrie Prince now is never used because of so many things being able to counter them. For example, Pekka counters Valkyrie Prince, Ice Golem Skeletons counter Valkyrie Prince, Giant Skeleton counters Valkyrie Prince, and so on and so forth. Number 26. The Super Magical Chest was the most expensive and desired chest until, poof, it vanished and was replaced by the Legendary King's Chest, which was a huge upgrade. Number 27. Balloon was so bad in 2016 that Supercell had to increase the damage by 105% and the bomb radius by 50% just to make it viable. Number 28. Three Musketeers cost 10 Elixir and were eventually buffed so that they'd cost 9 Elixir for all three. While as 10 Elixir they were bad, the eventual buff to 9 Elixir made Three Musketeers extremely popular in decks such as these. A bunch of changes eventually just made them unplayable, and <laughs> look at the usage right now. Number 29. Expo originally attacked air troops, which made it even more annoying than it is now. Because Expo could attack air troops at launch, it's possible that back then, Expo could have been a legitimate counter to Lava Loon decks, as Expo would have been able to counter air troops from a far distance. Number 30. In 2016, Mir gave troops an extra level for a cost of one extra elixir. While Mir was fun to use in casual matches, it never really found its place in meta. Bam. Oh god. Mir became a lot more popular once the two-level gap was released and brought level 16 cards to the arena. This was again changed, like two weeks ago, so now Mir only gives one extra level. The same as 2016. Number 31. Tournament chests in 2016 could literally max your account. While chests now are alright, and the designs look quite good, as shown here, chests back in 2016 were much better. And I mean much, much better. Let's see the contents of this chest. I'll fast forward. Yeah, that's a lot. Number 32. The Zero Elixir Barrel shown here was in the game for one special event before being mysteriously removed. This Zero Elixir Barrel is presumed to have been replaced by the Two Elixir Barbarian Barrel, which has a pretty good win rate, but isn't nearly as cool. Number 33. Clash Royale loading screens progress throughout the years in exactly this order. If you take a look at the first loading screen from 2016 and compare it with the new one here, you can tell just how many new cards were added into the game. It's crazy, really. Number 34. In 2016, the Clash Royale item shop looked like this. You can immediately tell cards back then cost less gold, with prices at 220 and 1000 opposed to the now 800, 2000, 3000, and 40,000 prices that we have today. You can even buy cards with gems now, or you can use my creator code. Number 35. In 2016, the only cards that could cross the water were literally just Flying Troops and Hog Rider. Now, in 2022, the Healer, Prince, Dark Prince, Royal Hogs, Mega Knight, and countless other flying troops can all do the same. Ugh. Number 36. The Elixir Collector used to be a pretty good defensive mechanism. People used to actually use it to defend pushes and tank damage. When Supercell nerfed Elixir Collector's health points twice, it became the back of the tower, hope you don't fireball, weakling unit it is now. Number 37. Clash Royale in 2016 used to be extremely popular, and it came out of seemingly nowhere, taking its spot as one of the most popular mobile games in history. In 2022, the game is still decently popular, but definitely nowhere near it once was. Our goal with this channel is to bring back the good memories on Clash Royale and hopefully make really fun content. So subscribe if you want to see more and have a great day.